see the lowercase letter A and the lowercase letter E. With the Clearview font, you know how much more open the E is, how much further out the, the lower portion of the E comes. These are all in Highway Gothic still. This is old, but this bad boy coming up is new. If we ask people, are you noticing this, they say, no, nah, I haven't really seen anything. But if they see the two fonts side by side, they say, oh my goodness, that's you know, remarkably different. It has a tendency to kind of glow. My name is Philip Garvey. I'm a senior research associate at Penn State. The Highway Gothic letter forms. Uh, when they got hit by the headlights would irradiate or glow and fill in. And you can see that particularly with the lowercase letters. The O, the A, the E, the S uh, would start to look bad and, and very similar. The letter form itself would, would start to blur and all you would end up having from a distance is blobs. So we had the idea that you know, maybe if we did something with a font, I mean, it was a pretty radical idea for this field. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's terribly radical. The idea being to open up the letters, give them, give them uh, an opportunity to breathe, if you will. Uh, so when the headlights hit them, yes, they would still irradiate, they would still glow, but it wouldn't become a blob. It would still, you would be able to just actually still see the letters. Well, we've got an example of the old sign and the new sign. Highway Gothic up on top and Clearview down on the bottom. With the Clearview, we're able to actually taper the stroke, and so that allows us to get more room in there and so same thing here so the end part of the e here is wider and then it tapers in same thing here on the a this part of the u and the same thing on the g the clearview has a couple of tells you can you can determine whether you're looking at a clearview font if you take a look at the letter a the letter the tail of the letter a um, shoots out like that scoops up <laughs> and uh, for the Clearview font, but for the standard highway font, it, uh, the letter A just goes straight down like that. I like the E. It is so much better with a Clearview than it was with the Highway Gothic. The tail that the E has is just so stubby, you know, it just, it's just a, kind of an unpleasant letter, and I think that the Clearview font, uh, the Clearview E is just, it's just so much more legible. It just kind of, it just kind of pops for me. People are driving around, they're seeing it. I'm driving around and seeing it. I, I, I don't usually see the work that, I'm, that I've done have such a large application, uh, becoming really uh, ubiquitous. I would think probably in the next 10 years or so, most of the signs in the United States and in Canada as well will be using the Clearview font. To have had a part of that is really cool for a researcher. <laughs> I have friends who say, and I, they ask me what I do, and I start describing the kinds of things I do on the job, and they say, you get paid for this? And I say, isn't this a great country? Uh,